Welcome to the ultimate egg drop experiment. In this multi-lesson science experiment, I am going to be teaching you how to use the engineering design process to solve a problem. Now the engineering design process is a multiple step process that engineers use to solve a problem. So what's the problem? Let's ask Captain Egghead. Captain Egghead is an alien that has recently come in contact with Earth. All he wants to do is to visit Earth. He's friendly. What harm could it do? The problem is that Captain Egghead cannot survive the drop down to Earth from his spaceship. So Captain Egghead has hired the world's greatest engineer, you, to build him a capsule that will allow him to drop down from his spaceship and land on Earth without cracking. The first step of the engineering design process is to define the problem. We need to ask ourselves, who has the problem? What is the problem? And why is it important to solve the problem? If you're watching this in class right now, go ahead and pause the video and discuss amongst yourselves who has the problem, what is the problem, and why is it important to solve the problem? Once you have those answered, press play. Now that you've discussed the questions amongst yourselves, I'm going to walk everyone through it. First, who has the problem? Captain Egghead has the problem. Secondly, what is the problem? The problem is that Captain Egghead cannot survive the fall down to Earth without cracking his shell. And thirdly, why is it important to solve the problem? It's important to solve the problem because Captain Egghead cannot visit Earth with a cracked spacesuit. So Captain Egghead has hired you to design him a capsule that will allow him to survive the fall from his spaceship down to Earth without cracking. Now that we have answered those questions and properly defined what the problem is, now we move on to step two, and that's brainstorming. The first step to brainstorming is doing research. In the description to this video, you will find multiple links that lead you to websites with past work from people who have done the egg drop experiment. It is now your job to do some independent research to identify things that did work, things that didn't work. Right now, I'm just wanting you all to get an idea. Look at the images you think look cool. What makes them cool? What makes them work? In addition to that, you will find a lot of projects that did not work. What are some things you notice that are common amongst the designs that did not work? These are some important things to keep in mind. In the next lesson, I'm going to specify the requirements for this experiment. That means I'm going to let you know what you have to do to succeed, what you can and can't use for this experiment, and also how far the egg is going to drop when we perform the experiment. Have fun doing your research, and I'll see you next time.